a word for our listeners. Octung Cthulhu is set in the 1930s and 40s. We will be using terms and sayings from those times, including some that could be considered offensive. It is not our intention to offend. We merely wish to offer as accurate a view of the time period as possible. Welcome to Masks of Nyarlathotep, a Nerds Domain Gaming Podcast. Join us each week as our investigators uncover the corruption of the mythos in World War II. Starring George Chimbles, Phil Durham, Rob Walker, Justin Kimmett, Shirley Nedzwicki, and Scott Troiano. With Matt Quiet running the table as the keeper. Eldritch evils and crazed Nazi cultists await you just beyond this music. Hi everybody and welcome back to the Nerds of May Presents Masks of Nyarlathotep. I'm here with Shirley. Hello. Uh, Philly. Hello. Robbie. Philly. I'm having a great time. And Georgie. Philly. Yeah. It's Philly and Georgie. Philly. Yeah. Like, like a young and horse? And yes. L- no, why like isn't it Robbie? Pig. It was Robbie. Oh, okay. It was Robbie. It, it was Robbie. <laughs> you were so traumatized by that, you didn't even hear it. <laughs> I was so confused it. by Philly. That I was like, just, well, it was what? Shirley, Philly, Shirley. Robbie. We're here with the Philly fanatic. Philly oh. fanatic. Well, I mean, the Phillies are a thing, right? No. Are you the Philly no, fanatic? No, 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 hold on, hold on. Wait, the Phillies aren't What? 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 What sport do the Phillies play? Baseball. In? The Major League. What city? The Philadelphia. The, the Philadelphia? Philadelphia? Is there another one? Then I guess it is the Philadelphia. No. Actually, there probably is another Philadelphia. Phil? No. There is another Philadelphia. I'm checking Dr. Google. Phyllis? You're checking Phyllis? Dr. Google. You've been downgraded from a horse to a female of your So house. you find what? we are currently... Whoa. Whoa. I mean, so being women a female are is lower dead. than horses now? I'm just saying horses are awesome. Oh, 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 oh. I thought oh. a Philly was a young you female thought you were horse. Have a good game. I thought Phillies were young horses in general. No, they're young female horses. Colts are young male horses. Mm. That's interesting. Okay. That is interesting. So a baseball team is named after a bunch of female. What's a gelding? No, because horses. it's got a pH. Oh, it's got a pH. So it's fat. <laughs> <laughs> like Pretty the 90s thing. slang? There's a Philadelphia, Mississippi. Oh, see, there you go. The Philadelphia <laughs> Phillies. All right, so we're going to get into the game. I now. am playing Chase Utley, shortstop. Uh, I'm going to field the ball. I roll a 20. Okay, so so I <gasps> make the double play. No. We're doing it right oh, now. Why not? No, guys. Amazing. Okay, can we focus for a moment and actually Aww. play the game? No, yeah. Maybe, maybe okay, so Shirley, you're up to bat. I'm going to throw okay, a okay. curveball at you. No, no, no. You're not going to You hit it. strike out like nope. a dumb chunk. No, oh, wait, wait. So we're oh, at a baseball no. game? Oh, we're at a baseball game, right? A, yeah, helicopter, a helicopter crashes <laughs> on the field. <laughs> on the field. <laughs> you're all I hear, nuns. I hear that. <laughs> not all of us. You are now. There was at least one recluse. This has been remastered to be the all nun version. <laughs> the all nun version. Oh, so I don't hey, think I you would find me a, at a sports ball I want to give event. a oh, shout out to one of our listeners. Yeah, shout out. Um, Kevin Long. Oh my gosh! So he tweeted at us and said that he was going to go to Gen Con, and he was going to go as one of the Cthulhu characters. He was going to San Diego Comic Con. You're very close. Oh, was he? Yeah. Oh, Cracker Jack. And he was going to go as one of the Cthulhu characters. I suggested. George or uh, Courtney Hathaway Weld in his yep. pajamas. In his pajamas. And, and his response was his response was he's going as the nun as my <laughs> character. <laughs> and Brilliant. he sent me a picture of him in a nun outfit. So good. So Kevin Long, hey, shout out. Mad awesome. uh, mad props to you because people are certainly still saying that phrase mad in props. 2017 when we're recording this. Dog. Mad props to you. Dog. Kevin Long. Dog. Yep. Dog. Say dog at the end. There you go. Champ. So anyway. Rooney. That's spelled D-A-W-G. Dog. Dirty dog. Okay, so we were watching an episode of Dog the Bounty Hunter. I kept claiming that his nickname was Dirty Dog, but it turns out it isn't. So I think I just made that up, but I still call, <laughs> I still watch Dog the Bounty Hunter, and I'm still going to call him the Dirty Dog. The Dirty Dog. Because so the Dirty Dog's going to catch him. Can, we, can we get into the game now? Oh, I'm, I'm playing the Dirty Dog now? <laughs> you mean this isn't behind the mask? You, Rob is going oh, to be so Leland. Shirley, of course, is Beth, and you Beth. can be uh, the other guy. Nice. I'll be the other guy. Wait, hold on. i got to get into character. She's Do you crazy. have your can of bear mace? Right? A bear mace. Is okay. that not Can amazing? we get back to the game she now? She also has okay. pink yes. handcuffs. George, you were being the least helpful at this point. <laughs> I'm the dirty dog right now. You don't talk to me when I'm hey, a character like dirty this. Dirty dog, method as you're being the least so helpful right you're now. You're admitting that you are dog. 
the dirty dog. Oh. Oh. Admittance <laughs> recorded. I'm Done. sorry. The dirty. D- Garrett arf, Gygax. Arf, 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 dog, Are, please. Hold on. Are you telling me that that's not something you would say at some point in time? Wait. While trolling someone else? I wouldn't. <sighs> so you're talking dog instead of lion? <laughs> We're getting a little inside baseball here with stuff the listeners have no idea. So I'm going to turn around to Matt and be like, I relinquish my hijacking and you can now have command of the, the podcast. Thanks, Phil, for helping me win. Um, so the last time, <laughs> the last, the last time we played, uh, we ended, uh, the mission with the, the members of the party back in England being debriefed and joining section M. We all remember this, right, Rob? Yes. Good answer. <laughs> uh, it was hinted that the next objective, the next mission would have an objective that would include, um, going after a member of Knocked Wolf, the white wolf that, uh, is a member of, of Knocked Wolf that, um, George's character was, it was established that he had some rivalry with, I would say murderous rivalry, perhaps. Um, so, where we're going to start the game is the four of you, plus um, six other men, or six, yeah, six men, are in Germany. Quick digression here that's sure. really going to uh, you know, take us out of things real quick. Can we build up any skills? Oh, you know what? We should do that, adventure? right? You are absolutely right. Let's go ahead and build up skills. I'm going to pause Yay. the recording real quick while we all do a bunch of rolling so that we can you know, not waste a whole lot of time. Hold on. And we'll be die. right back. Okay. All right, and we're back. So, raised, Shirley, I what raised, did you raise? A uh, shotgun and spot hidden, and I don't remember what else. There was a there was a third thing, but there was a lot of things that I failed at. Phil, what did you raise? I raised field craft, <laughs> okay. first aid, mm-hmm. and spot hidden. I was unable to raise my revolver. And we gave you some German because yeah. you need a little bit. And Rob obviously the, the nine isn't high, but that just means you're probably not going to be able to speak a lot. You'll be able to pick up a lot from context, at least, from what's been going on. When, when I really need to pee, I can figure out where to go. Pee? Yeah, yeah. What that's why. That I mean? That's, what are the first few things you learn of it? For, for where, where's the bathroom? Oh, where's the bathroom? Yeah. Okay, like, got it. Where's food? You, know, yeah. you don't even need where's Donde food. You can just mine food, baño. but you don't want to mine where's the bathroom. It's a bad idea. <laughs> yeah. Wiener schnitzel. Wiener schnitzel. <laughs> where's the bathroom? Yeah, that's what I said. Uh, Rob, what did you raise? A barn, the roof, conceal, uh, espionage, and <laughs> a colt. Uh, George, what did you raise? A whole lot, Matthew. I raised my throw, in which I was not trained. My persuade, in which I was also not trained. My navigation, in which I was trained. Mechanical repair, which, of course, I am trained in it. Jump, which has long been a bugbear for me personally, <laughs> has been raised. So it's now over 50%. So I've got a, a better a better chance than not of successfully jumping. Weldy. Espionage well. <laughs> has been trained. And, of course, car. Okay. So Perfect. now, since we're all untrained in car... And I've succeeded in a car check. I believe that I am the best car in the in the group. I yes. hope so. You're like the engineer. <laughs> I fly airplanes, man. I don't mess with these terrestrial four wheeled vehicles. But I guess oh, I, I don't now. even have a skill in car. Oh, I didn't, but now you I don't, do. You you actually do. It's under drive. It's a flat twenty. Mine's twenty five, so it's better than yours. Nice. I'm best driver. Your drive brings all the boys to the yard. Let me tell Whoa. you what my drive does. <laughs> okay, so. It fixes an engine while Oscar Isaac is in the other room raising a toast to his wife. Uh, so you can simultaneously drive the car and fix the car? And I kill Ron Perlman while wearing a rubber mask. What? All right, so we're going to get back to the film game. Drive starring Ryan Gosling. That's the saddest thing is I've ever heard. Ron Perlman in that? Is he ever? I know that there were trailers for that movie. Now, the movie which you speak, but I did not see it. Brian it Cranston is awful. in it? Awful. It's amazing. Yeah. It, it is oh, really man. good. It was surprisingly good, and also we didn't realize it was R-rated until we got into the movie with the uh, not legal adult children. <laughs> and uh, then somebody's uh, head gets stomped in. Yep. Yeah. Okay. So we're gonna get back to something less, uh, you know, intense. So you really? guys are like in Germany. Cthulhu story. So <laughs> uh, Nazi <laughs> Germany. You guys are on a completely um, 
a complete espionage mission. You're not supposed to be in the country. You were dropped off by boat um, on the northern shore of Germany. There is no northern shore of Germany. Yes, there. Yes, there is. There are no ports in Germany. That's why they do invade Belgium. That's why it was on the shore. It's not a port. <laughs> he really <laughs> likes boats. So you were dropped off. The idea was to hike your way down to very southern Germany. Um, you're going to an area called uh, Waldberg Castle, which is in the town of Waldberg, which is in Ravensburg. I looked a lot of looked at a lot of castles for this. It's part of what used to be called Swabia. Yeah, lots, don't you feel lots fancy? Of, oh my gosh! Thank you to our friends at Wikipedia. Yeah, actually, a lot of stuff I learned off of Wikipedia. <laughs> a lot. I appreciate all those people out there. So, uh, Waldberg Castle is a. Um, it's going to be a, or it is a stronghold for the Knocked Wolf. They're doing some sort of testing for um, weapons and um, other gear and equipment there. It's rumored and not completely 100% verified, but rumored that White Wolf is there, which, will, uh, Carlos, that, uh, that matters quite a bit to you. Um, it's also going to probably have a lot of information. So your primary objective is to... Um, take pictures and get information on what's going on there, how many people are there, what all what all is going on. You've been sent with six men that are essentially just soldiers. They're there to make sure you're protected, not that you can't protect. Cannon fodder? Not that you can't protect yourself, but you're going into potentially hostile territory. If you get caught, this could go bad. At least you can shoot your way out a little bit if you need to. What are their names? John Smith, Archibald Williams. Are you writing this down? I am. No, you're not. Write it down. If you're going to ask, I'm going to have to have you reference that list later. John Smith, Archibald Williams, Alfred Pennyworth. No. <laughs> Alfred Cooper. That we can replace Pennyworth with Cooper. Um. What happened to Pennyworth? Did he die? No, there was no Pennyworth. It was me just being it's a jackass. Yeah. It, it was that was a reference. I don't know if you're aware. I'm not. That's a Batman it's reference. Batman's dad. Oh, I okay. Uh, Scarecrow. Scarecrow. <laughs> Eric. Skarsgård? Eric Von Br- Donigan. Eric Bryanson. Is that with an E? <laughs> no. Brian Danielson. And Aaron Johnson. What happened in the names that I looked up? And then they are led by a gentleman named, what was it? Something guard? <laughs> you were supposed to have it on your phone. I was relying on you. <laughs> They're led by a guard lieutenant guard. named Dan. Hold on, for God's sake. <laughs> Jason Wingard. No. Not I, wi- what? I get, I get no for Alfred Pennyworth, but you can throw in Jason Wingard. Who's Jason Wingard? I don't know. He's mastermind. Just do just well done. Worth. The first mastermind. This Not to true. be confused with his daughter, Mastermind 2, who was also a Wingard. Lady Mastermind. That would also be true. Can I, I didn't expect you to pick that one up. <laughs> question somewhat relevant to the mission? Yes, absolutely. So, Are any of us trained in photography? Because <laughs> I'm not. That's a more mechanic than narrative uh, story. Yeah, oh. honestly, the photography skill in this I don't think is going Cindergird. to apply. Cindergird. Cindergird. Lieutenant Cindergard. What's his first name? L- uh, Lieutenant. <laughs> no. <laughs> Butterick. Lieutenant Lieutenant Cindergard. <laughs> um, Chessworth. Baron. Uh, yeah, we'll go with Baron. I don't care. Baron Cindergard. Lieutenant what? Baron Cindergard. What? Baron is a real first name. Baron is really a first name. It really Baron is. Davis was a point guard in the NBA. Yeah, this is a thing. Baron Hill, congressman from southern Indiana. Oh, my gosh. I got it. <laughs> Um, so, um, I think that you've established that this has been, um, some progression of time along in this mission before we start. Yeah. So you guys have been making your way down. You haven't been staying in towns. You've been packing things along. I want you all to note that you probably, that you have no more than 25 ammo for any sidearm you have. 
um, and at most 50 ammo for any rifle or shotgun. If you have multiples of either, divide it between them if they use different ammo. All I have is 25 total. 25 total? Yeah. What did I just say? I don't know. That's why I'm asking. You have 25 ammo for your pistol or pistols. It's divide, dividable between the, the calibers if you have multiple types. I guess... And 50 for any rifle or shotgun. Wouldn't rifles and shotguns be larger ammunition? Yes, they would, it would. But it would also be the thing the you would be round. using more likely. Be so if I'm not longer. carrying a rifle, why wouldn't I just have more for my pistol? Oh, you can do that. I was just assumed everyone oh. had a, a sidearm and a... Well, other than the professor. You just have a pistol? I don't... Well, I'm not the professor anymore. I'm, no, I was, I was mostly talking about Phil. Or Rob. <laughs> yeah, all I had written down was gun. So. <laughs> this is horrible. I okay. fixed it. So, my narrative <laughs> driven question. Yes. Um, in the time leading up to whenever we actually, you know, start playing this. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Is it clear that, um, Carlos has a vendetta against the White Wolf. Sure. I th- I think that was made pretty clear beforehand, wasn't it? Like, through role play? I don't um, think Ryan was there for it, though. I'm not sure Ryan was there for all of it, which but, is but, what I'm asking. But the other thing was that it was, it made, was in the in the debrief, it was made debrief, very clear was that... at least alluded to. Yeah. Well, it was clear that there was an interest from Carlos. So. Right. And if you bring it up, I mean, he would visibly be upset. If you wanted to pursue the matter more, we could play that out. Definitely. And um, so, but just since... You say the main goal was this photography. Mm-hmm. It, it, was there it, anything stated about if White Wolf dies, they're not going to be upset? Okay. Like, don't ruin the mission. But if White Wolf dies, it's primarily an intel gather. Yeah, and get out without necessarily being known. That's the intent. But if things go sideways, then yes, that was what you were told. You arrived in Germany on August twentieth. It's taken you almost three weeks to get to where you are. At some point over the radio uh, on September 1st, sometime during that day, you uh, you picked up that uh, Germany is now at war. The invasion of Poland has happened. You are now enemy combatants. You're not just espionage. You're, you're full on enemy combatants now. You're stuck behind lines. Do we have uniforms? No. Because that makes a big difference. It's, no, you do. Uh, no, none of none of you have uniforms. That means that we'll be uh, shot as spies. Yeah. According to the rules of war. Yeah. Whereas if, if you had uniforms, you'd be, what, held as prisoners of war? Yeah. And, yeah. So, um, you you are stuck behind enemy lines. It is very, it was made very clear to you it's imperative that you proceed, in, or you, you succeed at this. You've not gotten any word from home, but the chances of getting any actual messages back and forth are unlikely. You have a few times dodged some German, um, just regular German patrols through the countryside. Nothing bad. You do tend to move at night and sleep during the day because it makes it easier. But other than that, it's it's been a long couple of weeks. What's our planned exfiltration? Like, are we? Uh, you are because of where uh, Castle Wal or Walberg Castle is. You would proceed down through what was Austria into Liechtenstein and uh, Switzerland, and then go from there into France. If that's the way out, why did we go all the way across Germany on the way in? Because going through Switzerland more than once, when they are clearly like they're they're out of this, is going to upset the Swiss more than once, and they don't want to have to do that. Okay, the Swiss is, the, essentially you can either go through. You can either go back through Germany, which is a, bar- a really bad idea because the line between Germany and France is heavily occupied. Um, or you could go through Swiss- Switzerland, which is going to still be occupied, but not nearly as heavily. And it's not going to be as um, um, experienced soldiers. They're, they're going to put the, the crap people there. They don't expect attack from the south, from Italy or from Switzerland. Like, or, or Yeah, Switzerland It's not going to happen. Okay, thank you. That I mean, that sincerely answer all your questions. No, yeah, okay. So, um, you currently are, are in some woods. You know, you're just outside of Waldburg. Um, the castle is on the highest hill, and it's really a mountain at this point. But they roll pretty well. They're they're soft mountains with lots of grass and such. They're not like your heavy, craggy mountains. Um, you can see the castle itself. You can see through the binoculars what seems like, or what are cleared Nazi. 
um, tapis not tapestries, the giant flags that they hang from castles. What are, those are called tapestries, right? Flags. Okay, flags. They're the giant flags that they hang from castles. I'm sorry. All I could really think about was uh, tapestries. Temple of, Temple of Doom. <laughs> no, 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 no. We are here to see the tapestries. <laughs> No, 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 tapestry. Uh, Holy Grail. Yeah. <laughs> That's, yeah, no, not quite that much, but yeah. Um, so, you guys are uh, an hour, I, I, you're, you're probably two or three hours away by foot, um, by moving quietly and, and easily without arousing suspicion. Okay. I guess maybe there's one thing I'm still confused about. What, <laughs> what are we, uh, photographing? Uh, troops, um, equipment, inside, outside fortifications, anything you can get on the castle, who's there, what's there, what you're looking at. So they're not some sort of document or something, but just more the location and site. If you want to get all kinds of, uh, you know, fun and get in there and get some documents, they're not going to be upset, but obviously safety and getting the information back is number one. Okay. Oh, um, yeah, more questions. Because you love those. Um, who is uh, leading the mission? Um, ah. That is a very <laughs> solid question. Um, Good. Finally, someone's thumped them. <laughs> uh, you just keep asking, and eventually. Uh, yeah. William is given leadership of the overall thing when it comes to security. Uh, Brian, you and the lieutenant are the point for that. So if it's, if it's a matter of this is dangerous, we need to be secure. You, you two have the full right to tell him no and move on. All right. Okay. So, um, there is no, at this point, there is no specific plan. It's, it was get here, get into the castle. So I would at this point like to see us discuss a plan of some sort. The castle itself sits on top of a hill. How many roads in? Uh, one that goes up, up that goes up to the castle. It is kind of in a a small town. Um, it's very German small town. Ask, are you going to turn it over to the players now? Is there a moat? That would be awesome. There is no moat. I'm, I'm actually pulling up a picture. That wasn't a sort of question. No, I know. Um, isn't Carlos the one with the most military expertise, or do we have someone else on the team? I mean, Blake is literally an army. In oh, I don't. I'm sorry, I don't recall. No, that's that's fine. But yes. well, then Blake and Carlos need to come up with a plan. No, the I don't know. The, the professor is in charge. It doesn't matter security. who's in charge. So, if he needs help figuring out the way to accomplish the mission in the way that endangers us the least, I will help him. But he needs to figure out what information is of, of most value. Rob, I know him. No, his name is not Rob. His name is something else. But Rob the player. I will be posting the these pictures somewhere yeah. where uh, where our listeners at home can access them. So they can but decide how. It's also character. not hard to find Waldberg Castle. No, oh, William. Wald with a D. Berg Wald. Castle. There's a really cool painting from eighteen. Wahlburgers. I really like that painting. Like Wahlburgers. I would hang that in my my home. That's really nice. So okay. Um, You're so fancy. So what is the plan? William. William. I'm working on it. This is the, on the Can spot. you use words really, out no. loud? Go ahead. Can we actually do some role play? Go for it. Do you actually have some military expertise in this type of situation? No. <laughs> Well, then I think we should, uh. No, yeah, I think we should. Defer to, you right. know, people I, I that don't, do. I don't disagree with that point. Um, Ask for help. Oh, I don't want to do that. Because. Are, are you two having this conversation? Yes, way? we're okay. having, I am, I am. No, but I'm saying away from me. Are you doing this right in front of my face? No, we're doing this in front of, I'm like, <laughs> we have to find a way into this castle. I, no, I don't disagree. I think, um, we really need to, like, search the perimeter. Yeah. Yes. <laughs> so he's like, yes, bang me up. We need to um, get an idea. So we need to spend some time. We need to figure out what vantage points we can see this castle from best we can from the outside. I'm not sure we need to go inside. We need to know. We need an idea of how many people are going in, how many people are going out. 
so we have an idea of how many people are stationed here to some degree. What time of day is it? Moving in and out. Um, it's probably late afternoon. Like you guys have probably just woken up for the day, or or have been resting for the day. Gotcha. Since you've been moving mostly at night. You said there's one road leading into the castle. It sits kind of on the edge of town, so there's several roads around it, but only one goes up to the entrance, because it is kind of, it is very much up a hill. Okay. Of our <laughs> six guys, are any of them, like... Two of them have been very helpful with um, clearing spaces, watching what's going on, navigating through things. The other four are kind of just... Meatheads. So we have a couple Where's, wilderness trained. Yeah, and a couple. The, 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 the other four aren't. They're not stupid by any means, but they're not. This isn't their bread Four and butter. Trade. It feels like the two guys that are doing all this are like outdoorsmen at home, and this is just they know this stuff, and then they became they came got into the the English army. Where's the nearest major thoroughfare? Um. There's a road that comes from the north where where you guys are coming up that you've kind of walked, gone parallel with, uh, sort of. It winds a little bit, and you've been winding a little bit as needed. Um, that is the main road out to the north. There's also going to be one to the west and to the east. There's nothing that really majorly goes to the south. Because to the south is essentially a lake and then into Austria. I'm just thinking oh. that in setting up our surveillance and our, and our photographs, that um, what we'll want to do is have someone... like Seeing people leave the castle is going to be valuable to some degree to see how many people are going out, but then to know... Are they all going west or east okay, or yeah. north? Is what so at whatever whatever th- where, wherever those thoroughfares are, we're probably going to want a person would be uh, my military recommendation. Right. Well, that's why I was. That's what my reference or out of character. My my question for him to who's like wilderness trained. Who do we have? Because those are the ones that we want to get up to the front. They're the ones that are most likely going to be able to get to the front and, and say kind of out of sight when it get dark. Um. Then we can start monitoring the gates and paying attention to the gates. Um, cause that leaves us with still quite a few of us to maneuver around and find another vantage in. So we got someone on the gates. We can reconvene and then kind of assess the situation. So do you want to send the lieutenant out with his six guys in one direction and the four of you go another direction? No, or? no, 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 no. I, I want the, the two that are wilderness trained to, oh, to, to, to get to get to, the, to go up and watch the gate because the, Okay. They're going to be together. I say get right together because okay. they're going to be the ones that because we're probably secluded enough and safe enough that we can move around the outside, but probably very little. The gate of the castle. Yeah. Well, the the roads and the the road and the gate because that's going to be the only main entrance. This is a castle. It's not like we're trying right. to trying to assault a, a, a. But I'm assuming that from from many positions we could watch to see generally several. Yeah. Yeah. Who's coming and going? I don't yeah. think we need to get right on top of the gate to see. Well, they don't have to be up on the gate. That's why we're putting the wilderness. So they can stay on the outskirts and watch like the the area that so you can push traffic in and out flow. I I would say that if we have these two people who are trained in the wilderness or whatever, they go look for the way to get into the castle. If your actual goal is to get into the castle, we could send any Joe schmo from any position, not any position, but any most any position to be like here, sit here. You can watch the gate. Count how many people go in and out. And then report back to us when you when you're relieved. Well, I mean, we're down towards the bottom of the hill. Like if you look at the, look at the setting, of the hill, we're down at the bottom, right? Okay. So you can be you might be able to see up, but you're not going to get a good clear view. You're not you have to get somebody fairly close. Is my point because it's it's not like it's if you pull the picture back up, it wasn't really open. It's so it's again, fairly for, wooded for, there. For our listeners at home, it, it is a little more wooded than this because it's a modern picture, but it's not right. like heavily, heavily more. But there are lots of woods around the the place. So send a guy up a tree. That's an option. You're gonna hop at this? No, the the wilderness guys have climbed trees for you, right, 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 before, right. So that's not unexpected. So we got binoculars, so we should have some vantage. So, okay, yeah, but. <clears throat> I don't know, sending one of our two better people to sit and watch the gate doesn't seem like the way that I would do it. But you're, at least until you're challenging security in charge, Professor. Well, we've been having this conversation out of character, so we haven't had this in character. <laughs> no, that was kind of all in character All inclusive? Oh, good. Yeah. Oh, good. I thought I said out of character, but apparently. I just, I was just well, like... no, I think there were some points at which you did say that. And there's certainly some times at which I was saying things that were in character. So whenever you would like to start 
the in character. Well, I mean, there's, <laughs> sorry. I mean, there's my 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 premise and my idea was just kind of talk amongst the actual group here because we haven't had a chance to talk about what what we would have talked about in the last two months. So good or That's whatever fair. right all the time so i'm just trying to get an idea where, where where everyone's minds are at instead of just jumping and rushing in because that's what we would be doing otherwise uh, that's fair yeah so and we, we lost a bunch of time we're trying to come out of amnesia <laughs> that's okay <laughs> well you you also have been traveling for three weeks by foot right like you, so none of so, you are well brian you're probably used to that carlos you might have had a little bit of this like early on in basic training but the other the other two of you like this is not something you've done before like this much time out in the wilderness is a little foreign to you. Right. A little foreign? I wasn't trying to be, like, hateful or nothing. Carlos, are you still paying more careful attention to Brian? You did say that last game. Yeah, that's when he was going to churches and things like that. Yeah. Um, As long as you're not, like, sneaking away from the group. I am not doing that. <laughs> <laughs> well, where would you, are you go? Doing? <laughs> I'm gonna roll a spot hidden to see if I notice I'm doing anything weird. Are you doing anything weird? Do you want to message me? No, it's not that weird. I pass. Wow. Um, you notice that some um, on many many evenings, uh, I put salt in a circle around where I sleep. Can I roll cult? Yeah, you can roll. Done. You can roll a cult or knowledge, whichever one would be higher. Knowledge. Pass. What I would recognize that, right? Yeah, Rob, I'm. I'm just going to give it to you because Carlos, is, you're not the most. He, but you haven't even studied, spotted right? that or necessarily been looking at me. It's all fair. Yeah. So, Carlos, <laughs> you you know that salt is a great many things, but in a lot of cultures, it's a protective yeah thing. Uh. I've seen old country people do things like this. I would have spotted it, too. <laughs> but did you have reason to watch Brian? No. Yeah. <laughs> no. He, he wasn't... He definitely wasn't overt. He wasn't, you know, terribly secretive You're not about putting, it. like, a thick ring around you. You're just kind of sprinkling it, right? Yeah. Okay. Enough that I feel confident that it's doing what I need it to do, but not that I'm like, hey, everybody, look at this. So the idea is to do what now? What what's the plan, Rob? Or William? William, what's the plan? Willie. William. Willie. Okay, so I would convey to you and the lieutenant that my intent is to is we can need to find a way in. I mean, obviously we, we can't just. I mean, surveillance on the outside is going to be important, but surveillance on the inside is going to be more valuable. Um. Ideally, I want to know troop movement in and out. Which can be done from the exterior. Okay. As long as we have good vantage. Yeah. Um, but we're about to try to get into a castle. What do we have on us? What kind of stuff that we get to, um, to go into this? You've got uh, a tent, a bedroll, a uh, couple of canteens that you've been mm-hmm. filling from local water, um, ammo, magazines, extra magazines that are like wrapped tightly so they don't, because magazines, I don't know if you're aware of this, right. old ones, like you drop them, they can break right. pretty easily. Um, Explosives, grenades? There are a handful of grenades among the four of you, so maybe five. There's more with the military guys, because, you know, they're military because they, ha- they have a better right, grasp right, right, of right. it, but um, there's one guy that actually has... Um, Essentially, we left with the intent of sieging a castle. That's my. That's it's my. It's not my that you thought. left with the intent to siege a castle. Not necessarily a siege, but but to but, get into. But you could use it to get into. This is also like we're going to be out in the middle of nowhere. Who knows what we could use? So you'd also have like trench sho- Like what are those called? The shovel entrenching yeah. tools. The trench entrenching tools. Um, rope. Ro- a little bit of rope. What do you need all the rope for? Climb walls. Um, you do all have trench knives. Like even if it's not on your character, you have a trench knife now. Because it's a multi-tool, essentially. Multi-pass. Um, yes. The Uh You have you each have a little bit of a um, kit, a uh, uh, first aid kit, including a shot of morphine. One of the guys is trained in first aid, so he can he can give you some morphine. Which I know you're making a fake, but like that's that was the immediate like, oh my god, my leg is blown off. That's what you do, morphine. And it's in like individual Calm, small. Calm shock, right? Yeah, it's in individual small like doses. Um, so you have bandages. 
you probably have at this point scavenged some things along the way. Like this, so there's probably some dried meat. You're probably out of rations. Um, you didn't have much in the way of that anyway. You just like there's only been so living you off carry. the land. You've been living off the land. The two wilderness guys are pretty good at snares and hunting, so that helps. Uh, one of them is carrying a bow and a few arrows. Um, although his arrow supply has been dwindling a little bit. So basically, is it a self-made or is it like compound or? Um, it, it is not compound. It is, it is not a compound bow. It is, it is not self-made. It's a well-crafted, like old school bow. Well, that could still be compound. It's still not compound. Okay. Um, but it, it's something he's been carrying for a while. The idea being he can hunt with it without making a lot of noise. So it's hunting for rabbit or, or rabbit. small game. Um, not- you, you guys have, uh, you've mostly eaten rabbit, squirrel. Um, other small rodent eat animals like that. Probably a little bit of beaver. Um, since you came down along the Rhine. Um, so I mean, there's, there's a lot of different animals that you've been eating. Not anything big like a deer, cause that, that takes a lot to take down. And ne- definitely not boar, cause those are kind of terrifying. And actually, anytime the wilderness guys have, like, steered you away from something, it's been bear or boar. Right. Cause, like, the boar, Very the boar aggressive. in Germany are big. Yeah, they're not like, is futile, got it. Yeah. So I mean, it's it's a dangerous area. So, okay. okay. So then, my question would be to the group. Um, sorry. Um, would it be advantageous for me to watch the um, servants shift and possibly sneak in as a servant? One you of the serving women. Are fluent in German, correct? Yes. Fluent ish. Well, I believe. I don't know. Maybe well, I'm wrong. Well, she can tell 52. us that yeah. she's fluent. Yeah. <laughs> we can if she thinks she's not. fluent, then she can be. Well, you guys have all heard her say, speak German. It's it's passable enough. I would certainly. <laughs> you think <laughs> it's perfection. You're like, I've never heard someone speak German so well except for other Germans. Wow. Yeah. Are you a good liar? Where do I look for my line? Are you a Deception? good liar? Fast talk, persuade. Oh, persuade. Oh, wrong game. They don't have perception in this one. M N O P Q. Fast talk. Fast talk or persuade. Oh, no, no, I'm not a good liar. Then maybe that's not the best idea. No, not. Okay. And I don't know, so yeah, I would, I would say, and I'm pretty sure Brian would agree with me that that would not be the best of approaches. No, not the infiltration. I'm, I'm very hesitant and have made clear throughout our trip down here that I'm uncertain as to the val, the, that it needs to be clear that we can get in at a, very low acceptable risk because I think that most of what we've been asked to gather can be gained strictly from the exterior. In character. That is um, absolutely incorrect because most of what they're doing that is going to be of interest will be inside. I tend to agree, actually. You don't revive corpses from the dead or turn men into wolves. That might be what Where you can spot it with aircraft. That might be what we're interested in, but they, we have been specifically asked to look for what is at the castle, where the troop, what troops are here, where they are going, and what they're doing inside. There is an implication. Yeah, there is no, an no, implication. I did, I, did, I did say what they're doing. Right, but there's so an what implication. Doing is very broad. So, it is. so Brian, it's fair. It's fair. there's an implication with the people that they've chosen. The four of us have been specifically chosen for a task that could have been carried out by someone with. Potentially a lot more training. Okay. So just very clearly, is it more that we need to know what is going on inside or just... It was left open enough so that you could make the decision on how dangerous you wanted to... If you show up and there's 13 battalions here, I guess that's a good enough information for them because that's something they need to know. But if you show up and there's half a battalion and you might be able to slip inside, they're leaving it up to you to decide in the field what is and is not an acceptable risk. But it, but it's more than just what troops are doing, right? But what is going on here, right? Yeah, because it was okay, that was not what yeah. wasn't clear because because okay. troops are so just they, they, I'm well, a marching they, man to me. No, no, they they are they're testing things here. There's equipment. There's 
who knows what else they want to know what's going on what is going on okay yeah. so thank I, you that that i may have not explained that clearly i apologize okay so brian is still relatively hesitant to commit to having anyone go inside until we show up and see what is going on there and having a solid plan to do so. To extrapolate out, Carlos would make it very clear that we have to be inside and that if you're afraid of going inside, the best route would be to steal an airplane, have Carlos fly overhead with a camera at various times of day and outfly people. You'll get the same information and there's risk to nobody. But if you actually want to see what's going on, we need to go inside and see with our own eyes. Okay. <clears throat> would um, we have been provided images of this castle? That's what you're here for. No, I mean like I mean, overhead maps. Okay, so I'm very, I'm very okay with with flying the plane. Of the six people that have been sent with us, you get the idea that Carlos is sarcastic about that. <laughs> oh, okay. Of the six people who have been sent with us, are any of them fluent in German? Uh, all six of them can speak passable German. What to you? Very good. They're really good at German. But they no, can they, tell me whether or not they think that they're, they're fluent. They they tell you that their their German is passable enough as long as it's not too long of a time. Okay, and then does anyone else in our group feel that they are fluent, that under direct interrogation, not like, like okay, you're locked up as a prisoner interrogation, but, you know, thorough questioning. I believe Carlos exp- showed himself to be fluent in German. No, 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 not to that level. It would be accented. Okay, there you go. Well, I mean, even if you know the language, like, accented, I think, is okay, but as long as you understand it and can speak it, you can still be fluent, even if it's an accent. Most of what he knows would be not polite things, but things that people yell at each other from opposing sides in the war, snatches of radio stuff. Fair enough. He might be able to do, like, radio chatter that he's overheard and mimic someone over a radio in another military unit, but, like, going in as a servant or as a delivery man would probably not be as bad. Okay. So... In, in establishing what we would have discussed on our way in making our way to here, Brian's general sentiment would be, <clears throat> it doesn't seem like any of us are equipped with the German to do very well in making our way in there, but if we can perhaps find a back way in, as opposed to the, a more legitimate way of, like, I am a, an actual worker there or something, but more like, I am going to sneak in at night type of thing might be the better way to go would be his preference and leaning. Yes. Well, that's, yeah, I think that's the kind of the intent anyways. We can sneak in. Alternately, we can have some, we have enough people that we could have someone create a diversion in town or farther away from town to draw off troops once we see how many there are. Mm-hmm. Um, make it less defended. Okay, so then certainly my suggestion to William would be at first to observe strictly from the perimeter and exterior to get an idea of how many people are there, how often they're coming and going, so on and so forth, before we commit to any action in the interior. So yes. gather more intel before making a finalized plan. Well, that was my intent yeah, anyways. Yeah, that right, right. Of, that's, that's what I was saying. I want to make sure several I days. Okay. Right. Okay. No, we can definitely do several days. That's not a problem. Um, instead of like us really getting into the nitty-gritty of how we're going to gain information. You spend the next couple of days observing the group with you, spend time observing. Um, You're a corporal, Brian? Or are you a private? Okay. Did you pick up any command skill? No. Okay. Can you... Is there a... What's the base on command? Five. Five. Can you roll that for me? Can I roll? Uh, yes, you're also a military <laughs> character guard. I'm an officer. I technically outrank him. I fail. Oh, you failed? Yeah. Yes. It, 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 it's fine. It was more of a... Okay, so... Um, I got double odd. I was like, oh, oh. <laughs> I need everyone to roll field craft, or if you don't have field craft, hide. And this is a party thing, so as long that as the majority... I or... do pass. I'm good. Mm-hmm. I did not pass. Either or. What's one or the other? Did not pass. <laughs> Any of the above. Wow. Uh, I failed. And my skill is 77. Yikes. Dang. Okay, so. Mine's a 27 and I passed. 
that was actually just for the group as a whole. Um, so on the third day, um, while one of the men is watching the road and kind of walking through the woods, uh, he doesn't come back. Can I roll a spot hidden to see if I get him, see him uh, getting taken into roll, the Actually, roll luck for me. Because the chance of you being there is really luck. Actually, missed it by three. All of you can roll luck. Unless one of you is purposely night holding down the, the base camp. But all of you can roll luck. <laughs> you could always leave one of the other dudes back there. That's why they're there. They're extra people. I don't know. There's holding down the base of... camp seems to be a pretty... You could you have Crucial six test. other guys. I mean, you could leave them back there. That's not a big deal. I pass luck. Hey, look at that, Brian. You do see um, as he's kind of um, he climbs. He's climbing down from a tree. It's like it's time for him to come back and report in. He's coming down from a tree. I guess it's a it's a little early for him to come back, but you know that he's probably going to take his time and be safe about it. As he's climbing down from a tree. Uh, a German officer comes around the corner, not even paying attention, just like kind of zipping up his pants from taking a piss and almost stumbles into him. The German officer gets his gun out first, holds him at gunpoint and uh, calls over other men. It's they're far enough away that you you could interact by shooting or something like that, but you can't really hear other than some yelling. Um, it's very clear that he is being um, subdued. He's carrying a weapon, or he's carrying weapons and binoculars. It's clear what he is, what or what he's been doing. Are we close enough to communicate with each other? Um, roll luck again for me. I, I'm going to leave that with George. So he I can, pass. Okay, yes, you are close enough to communicate. Um, not uh, not full words, but enough to like make hand motions and get the idea. I kind of wave him. Over in point. You need to shoot him. Do you have a rifle? The... Do you, Brian, have a rifle? I don't have a rifle. Okay. I do. Uh, the German or our man? Our man. It's easier to kill one than ten. The 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 the, the German that's caught him is yeah. calling out for other men to come over. It's it's only a matter of time. You're. They interrogate him. They happen. get our entire reason for being here and our entire escape plan. Either that, or we need to go in there and get him out before he is fully interrogated. Do I? Am I nearby this? Uh, not close enough to have the, hear the conversation. Do I know? Do I know the the man at all? I mean, like have you bit. gotten to know him over the last few weeks. Well, what would you like to know? I want to know my impression of whether or not he'll break. Under normal circumstances, he he may break after over time. These are not normal circumstances. There are esoteric forces in there, and you've seen what they can do. Death would be a mercy to him. <clears throat> Take the shot if you have it. Uh, first, roll luck for me. I want to see how good your shot is. Sure. Make it. Okay. Um, go ahead and um, what's the what kind of rifle are you using? Uh, Browning automatic rifle. Range is ninety yards. Uh, you'll be at half. He's out quite a bit. I've Just drawn by at the half. Way. What? What'd you? What'd you get? Twenty nine under twenty or twenty nine over twenty. Uh, what is that? I'm like one or two over. Oh, but then, um, you uh shoot him. You clip him kind of in the shoulder. He goes down and limp. Pretty sure your your shot wasn't enough to kill him, but he may be wounded enough that he's not going to be able to speak for a little bit. Cool. Now, the two of you need to get back to base camp because clearly that shot came from somewhere, and they're going to pick up on that. So I'll kind of motion for you to go one way, yeah, and I'll take off a different way. And okay, kind of loop around to wherever I was. All right, so we are going place. to do what is called a chase. Um, so the two of you have initiated a chase. Uh, you're both going to be running. I'm oh going to ask for different roles. What now? Where you guys, are we? you guys are out there, but you're not the, at the spot the fire, came, the shot come, came okay. from. So you can get away more likely easily if you want to intercept, de- intercept and help. That's more than. Off, will off, we have off, set off, up off. any traps around <laughs> us, or like booby traps, or right. the likelihood of those being found and you being caught from that, or 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 there being suspicions raised, is 
maybe too high for that idea. I would I would assume as cautious as Brian is being right now and has been the whole time, like I don't foresee him letting you set something up like that. You want to set up booby traps? No. Booby traps. Well, trip wires. This is not a predator situation. Um, so, you well, two. I'm not a military guy. You two are both going to be running away. You can tell me whatever skill you want to use if you want to, like, jump or hide or whatever. That's Spot. fine. Okay. What now? What do you no, think? Keep going, sir. Uh, whatever you want to use, just let me know what it is and let me know what you roll. Um, and keep in mind that. Um, you're gonna do it at normal. If you get half or under, that's good. Let me know that specifically. If you get a fifth or under, so 20% or under, that's even better. Let me know that. But also let me know if you fail. So tell me what you're gonna do, how that applies to the chase, and then roll that. Who first? You go ahead, Blake. So I know field craft encompasses many things. Yeah. Um, so can you, cause I know that I put some, points into various skills. You're like, oh, field craft really... Field craft really covers most everything that you would want to do, like hiding or covering your trail or... So I'm going to look for a path that is not very impeded, but not directly leading back to base camp and running that way. I'll let you use field craft for that, yeah. Uh, Pass, but not by under. Okay, so you you are headed down a, a trail kind of away from camp, but not near camp, or not not that far off. Uh, Carlos, how about you? What what are you planning to do? Use spot hidden. Um, I'm going to be looking for uh, obvious, not obvious ways to get through, like brush and um, mm-hmm. okay, you know, yeah. clamor over things that you might not be able to see, and then also look out for uh, you know, like soft patches of dirt where I might leave a footprint and avoid those. Yeah. Oh yeah, go for that. Pass, not by half. Okay. So you guys are running through the forest. Uh, there is pursuit. Um, four, three guys on you, Brian. Two guys on you, Carlos. They kind of split up. There's only there's only five. Um, you can hear them hollering in German back and forth to each other. You both speak a little bit of German, right? Yes. Um, it's a lot of, he went that way after him. Stop. Um, in the name of the Reich or whatever they would say in those times. Um, so Brian, you're going to keep your field craft up. You want to keep doing that? What do you want to do? Uh, I think I'm going to, um, try to spot hidden. Mm -hmm. Um, I'm going to look for any path that might still continue along in the direction that I'm going, but provide me cover from being seen as I'm going along okay. that way yeah. to some degree. You could also roll field craft on that as, as well if you want to do that instead of spot hidden. It's up to you. Spot hidden's just a no, hair fine. better. That's no, fine. Uh, pass, but not by half. Okay. So you keep going. What about you, Carlos? I'm going to use navigate. Um, I'm going to try and tack along a different path than I would take normally to kind of you know, head away and then jog back. Um so yeah. not quite a doubling back, but to take a, a route that's a little bit circuitous, that would throw them off the pass. Absolutely. Good work. Pass, not by half. Okay. Do I get to mark these? Yeah, absolutely. Um, so you guys are out running. Uh, now this round, uh, you both have to roll con times uh, five. Let me know how badly that goes. I get a 99, so oh. that definitely fails. Okay. Uh, I got a pass. Okay. It is okay. good. You're good. Yeah. Okay, Carlos, you're starting to ache. Um, this the, the burns on your body are not good for running. Um, over long periods of time. Um, plus you've not been in the most clean conditions lately. Um, it's not impeding you yet, but it's going to very much become a problem if you can't find a way out of this quickly. Good. Uh, Brian, how are you continuing your flee? They are not seeming to they're, – they're, they're still behind you. You're not losing them quickly, but you are going to slowly lose them. It may take some time. You may be running through the forest for several hours at this pace. Mm. <clears throat> Seeing as that I don't feel that I'm losing them, I want to look for a place that has – 
multiple escape routes, but but a place I might be able to hide from their search reasonably. Okay. Um, because I'm assuming I'm not that far from base camp. Uh, you're you're probably a good half hour walk, um, from base camp. Um, what skill are you using? Um, I was guessing that would probably fall under field craft. Yeah, but okay. that's fine. I just want to see what you want to justify. Uh, pass, but not by half. Okay. And Carlos, how about you? I'm gonna go ballsy on this one. Not oh, my yeah. best skill, but like, I'm gonna. I like it. I'm gonna use jump <laughs> <laughs> to jump from a bluff to a lower spot that would seem to be impassable to a non-jumping person, but I'm going to be jumping, and so they won't expect me to have jumped to here. Okay, go for it. I get a seven. Wow. Out of 52, so I'm going to say that's pretty good. Yeah, that is that is a literally 20%. Um, you jump, um, you kind of hit the ground, your body aches from that impact, it just shakes everything, and you, without meaning to, kind of step back and lean against the 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 ground that you just jumped down from you hear two german foot or two pairs of german footsteps run up you speak german right yes they they said no couldn't have gone this way and turn and run off the other way you have time to catch your breath you can probably make a leisurely way back to camp i will but you all are also down one hit point even though you you succeeded the jump with the way your con is right now you're you're in a lot of pain um nothing that can't be healed up pretty quick but it hurts what about you, Phil? How's this next round going for you? So I passed and I found my spot to hide. Yep, they're still right in the area. You could hide there for a while. It's going to take several rolls because eventually they may find you also. More men could come. Hmm. I hear there's two men that don't have anything to chase now. <laughs> <laughs> um... So I will spot hidden for a place where I think that if I led them towards, uh, they might wander away from the location I'm at. Okay, go for it. Uh, that's a pass by uh, more than half. More than half? Um, you... Wait until they've, it's clear, like you watch them go by a couple of times and you're, you're kind of timing it and watching how that goes. And after they've, they've, they've hit that peak of when they're gone, you kind of dart out and across, lead them down, um, by the riverbed and then double back behind them. And as they go to the riverbed, they go across it. Um, you're still not out of the woods, haha, woods. Uh, you, you're still being, you're still in, in the chase, but you're, you're pretty, it won't take nearly as long to lose people now. So what else? What is this last bit you're doing here? Hopefully, hopefully, um, I'm going to run hard and dodge anything that might be in my yeah, path. Yeah, love it. Use that dodge. Did you mark everything there, George? Yes. Good. Uh, and that is a pass by more than half. Okay. So you dodge through the 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 uh, woods pretty good. Um, it takes Carlos. It took you probably. 30 minutes to get rid of these guys. Uh, not the whole time you were you full out running, but it was a lot of running. Uh, uh, Brian, it's probably been an hour and a half. Like it, you hid for a little bit, you ran, you, you double backed, you buy it both, uh, make it back to camp. It's just as dusk is falling that night. Um, and that is actually a good place for us to stop and end that for tonight on Masks of Nyarla Thotep. I forgot I had to queue up some music, but I think we're going to do that right here. And that will do it for us tonight on the Nerds Domain Presents Masks of Nyarlathotep. Remember, you can email us at nerdsdomain at gmail.com or find us on facebook.com forward slash nerdsdomain on Twitter at nerdsdomain or over at our site nerdsdom.com be sure to sign up for the newsletter while you're there. You can head over to iTunes and give us a five-star rating. We want to thank Josh Shop for our music. 
don't forget, you can support us at patreon.com forward slash nerds domain. And check out our shirts at slashloot.com.